breakups really suck, but they, what they allow you to do is just learn more about yourself and learn what you don't want. and welcome back to my channel it's me miss schmo and so what am i going to be talking about today today i want to talk about breakups and what made me think about this was i was watching shane booty's channel i think it was like it was one of her older videos and she was talking about like toxic relationships um you know she was talking about I was watching one that she talked about toxic relationships. But then she was also talking about, um, there was another video I watched where she talked about going through a breakup. And I forgot how much they hurt. Um, and when she was talking about it, I had to go back in the memory bank and just think about the time that I may have broke up with somebody or somebody may have broke up with me and how painful it was because i'm a little fatty like i i don't remember not eating but i do remember a sadness that comes from a breakup especially if it was a breakup that maybe you knew needed to happen or you just wasn't ready for like the blow of it. It it hurts. It hurts a lot. Um, y'all can comment down below if y'all ever experienced a breakup um, and how you would describe that hurt. And I, I think that's what I'm gonna do in this video. I'm just gonna describe that how the hurt felt to me based off what I can remember but I haven't dated a lot of people in my life but maybe like maybe five or six people I've dated um and there were only two where the breakup really hurt um one was the first guy I ever I guess dated so we decided to go our separate ways which was fine and, oh, you know, now they're just a homie. Now they're just a friend. So, and I can be kind of nonchalant. I think I get that from my daddy. Um, just like, okay, whatever emotions, just keep on going with your day. And I texted the person. They said to me, they said, my girlfriend or whatever doesn't appreciate you texting me. And something along the lines of like, don't contact me. And that, that was the blow <laughs> because I'm like, oh yeah, we broke up um, and now we're just friends. Now we're just friends. Like, because I know how to navigate friendships with guys, I'm just like, oh, okay, you're just a friend now, whatever. And I took away that romantic part of it. I was more hurt that he didn't want to be my friend anymore and less hurt that we decided to break up um like romantically so that was the first time and it hurt so much because it's just like oh man i lost a friend and i mean to this day i still take my friendships very seriously um and so it's just like i was just so hurt i was sad and even though i was sad like i was just trying to like i still want to hang out with my friends and so like, you know, I expressed to them, like, what happened. And one of my friends at the time, they were like, yeah, that makes sense. You know how, like, somebody might stab you and then take the knife out. And then somebody come up, somebody different, just stab you again in the same spot. That That's how it felt that's how it felt because it's just like I've never experienced anything like that like I was already sad because me and this got that that guy at the time like like that was my friend like that's a friend like we're cool nah, 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 nah. even though we're 
we were romantic as well. It's like, you know, that's a friend. And to, to for me to to lose a friend and not through death was just uh, the realization that they don't want me in their life anymore. That hurt. And then for another friend to say, yep, that's just how it goes. That just what it is just like. Yeah, maybe you couldn't wait. You could have waited on saying that. Um, I didn't. I didn't need that harsh reality right then and there. Um. So, but yeah, and it's just like it just hurt. It hurt. A friendship breakup. That thing hurt, man. Woo. And I can't remember what I did after. I mean, I think I was definitely sad. Um. And then I started to kind of see like the the bright side of everything of like not having this person in my life. How I could just do move the way I wanted to move without their like constant. I don't know if you should do that. No, 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 no. It's just like and now I could just do me and be me. And that I think got me out of my funk. Um, and just the realization, the truth of like, oh, this person does not want me in their life anymore. I am very sad. But I understand and I just just move on like <laughs> they don't want you okay fine I just go to somebody who does want me so and like that's how I kind of like navigated through that in just a very like condensed way like of explaining to y'all <laughs> um and so and then the second breakup that hurt me oh my goodness oh that that still that one still kind of stings to this day because again like I say friendships are very important to me so if I'm talking to a guy I always see them as a friend but just like this is somebody that I'm cool with I'm just building a genuine friendship connection with that also has some romantic entanglement involved and so <laughs> um and so, like, one thing that I always try to stress when anybody that I was dating at the time is just be honest with me. Like, just just tell me the truth because that's what I'm used to. Like, growing up with African parents, they give you the truth. Like, fuck your feelings. They're going to tell you what it is. So, I'm used to that. And I appreciate that because it, it takes the it takes the guessing out of what the actual truth really is. And it allows me to just move forward. So like even though that guy, the first guy, he was just like, basically don't talk to me. It was like, oh, that truth hurts. But it is what it is. I move on. Okay. This the second guy. And all I wanted was honesty. Just be honest with me. Like, we already knew what it was when we first started talking. Let's just be honest. Let's just be honest with each other. And um, he was not honest with me. And we worked together. And oh, that, that hurt. It, it still be getting me in my chest sometimes. Because that was a... You know, the knife analogy, that was like somebody stabbing you, taking the knife out, leaving the knife somewhere. The same person coming back, stabbing you again, then walking around to the other side of you and just stab you in the same spot. So it was just like, ching, 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 ching. Ching, 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 ching. I know that's very graphic, but I'm describing my feelings. Um, that hurt because I saw I saw the betrayal <laughs> while we were at work because we worked together. I saw the betrayal. You know that Etta James song? All I could do was cry, 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 cry. And that's what I did. At the time, I was a hostess at a restaurant, so pretty much my job entailed smiling and being welcoming. Hi, welcome to, how many are in your party? That was my job was to be 
happy and to smile and to make people feel like we wanted them there. And when you see somebody who you're, you know, talking to or like, you know, y'all are, y'all are growing in y'all situationship or whatever, and you see them talking and flirting and building a connection with another coworker in front of your face, and you have to be happy. I was sad. I was very, very sad. And I would, um, I would go to the bathroom when I saw it. So I saw that work. I, I went to the bathroom and I cried. I cried. I cried. I cried. I think it was at the start of my shift. And I was like, God, how do I do this? How do I go out there and smile as if everything's okay when I am crying and I am dying on the inside. I just, I did not feel well. I wanted to go home. I was like, how, how do I get through this? And um, so yeah, I just cried in the bathroom. I cried and I cried and I cried. Um, I couldn't cry for that long because I still had to go back out, out on the floor and be a hostess and so I wiped my tears and I was like you're gonna get through this make it through your shift make it through your shift stay busy make it through your shift go home and cry some more because <laughs> you still need the money go home and cry some more and so that's what I did um, I cried at work I was sad on my way back home um, and I was listening to music and the song, <laughs> the song that came on was, um, it was g Easy's um, Me, Myself and I. And I was in drama mode. I was like, bitch, you the only one you can depend on. Don't ever depend on these niggas. Like you, just you, you are all you got. Do not depend on them for nothing. Don't depend on them for money. Don't depend on them for love. Fuck them all. It's all about you. And I'll be like, ooh, it's just me, myself, and I. Going right up till I die. Na, 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 na. I was, that song was on repeat. Repeat. <laughs> I was like, fuck this shit i'm tired of dating i'm tired of depending on men to validate my self-love i'm tired of depending on men to feed me because <laughs> you know sometimes you might go on a date for a meal i'm tired i'm tired i'm tired of depending on men for money i'm tired of depending on men for to mark my success which kind of goes back to that other video i did about like marriage and how that is the beacon of success for a woman like I was just tired of all that shit because what I witnessed while I was at work was somebody that I was starting to care about a lot hurt me right in front of my face and not give a flying fuck and I was like, nada, no mas, not for me anymore. Like, I'm getting money, I'm doing my own thing, and I'm just going to be a good person. I'm not depending on these men for my happiness anymore. No, 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 no. Because I did that, and I think when I went into work that day, I was happy. I was like, okay, who working today? Oh, he working? Oh, okay. <laughs> we going to have fun. going to be flirting at work. <laughs> no. No. That was a dark day. <laughs> it was a very dark day. And so, yeah, I was just like, just hurt. I was hurt. And I think that hurt. Um, because I usually, when I'm like disappointed in something, I don't stay in that disappointment for too long. I'll be just like, 
I try to go to the next thing to like get some dopamine effect or like just to make myself happy and to know that I have something going for myself and and so like because I was like I'm still I still write but I don't do as much creative writing right now um but at that time I was like you know if I'm gonna be working as a hostess not getting paid much let me just you know let me work on my creativity let me work on my penmanship um and so I was writing and I would submit my, I would like to write plays. So I would submit my plays to like different competitions. So I, I saw some of the things I was writing when I was in that sad state, when I saw the betrayal, I was like, you know what? Let me go, re, re, let me read one of my stories, rewrite it and submit it to an upcoming competition. So that's what I did. And they selected me. So I was like, thank you, God. <laughs> thank you, God. Because if I didn't have that hurt, that betrayal, I I don't think I would have been as motivated, as driven to just like produce something and just to get myself out of this funk. I would not have been able to like just I, I would have pushed myself but it would have been a slow push because I was hurt I was just like bitch get out there <laughs> you better get yourself out there pick yourself back up and so that's what I did and like I said G Easy was on repeat but then around that time Beyonce Lemonade came out and I was just like that was that was like my anthem in the summer of 2016 I was just like I'm on my shit now. I'm on my shit. I, I wasn't making money or nothing. <laughs> but I was, I was just very, very serious about working on myself. So it was just like, <laughs> I would describe the, that heartbreak because it was a romantic breakup. And I was more so sad about the romantic breakup with that second breakup. But so g Easy just put me, if I want to describe the breakup, I was in a lot of pain. Listening to G Easy just reminded myself that you got this. You you can get yourself out of this. You out to yourself out of this pain. Like you got this. What Beyonce did was remind me that I'm that bitch. <laughs> And that's what I needed to hear at the time. And I feel like after I moved from g Easy and then moved to Lemonade, I was able to come back around to myself and just start to enjoy different music and different songs that may have reminded me of that person or just whatever, that time period. Um, I just kind of felt like I was getting back to myself. Um, and so... What I learned, I would just say overall, what I learned from breakups is that they fucking suck. Like, they hurt a lot. And I will, and I do want to mention that, so the, for the second guy, the romantic breakup, um, that really hurt. Whereas for the first guy, the romantic breakup didn't hurt as much, but the friendship breakup hurt. But going back to the second guy, when they tried to like, because I would just realize that, okay, I can't really talk to this person. Like, this person is not good for me. Um, because the way that they make my emotions feel, like, when they give me attention, I feel like, <gasps> but then when they rip that attention from me and they give it to somebody else, it's just like, <gasps> like, you just can't breathe. So I was like, this person is toxic for me. If I cannot have a balance when I'm around them, I don't need them in my life. Um, so it was just like, oh yeah, we can be cool. But when I realized that they were kind of toxic for my own well-being, and I'm like, oh, I can't be cool, cool with you. That's when I had to initiate the friendship breakup. And um, 
it wasn't it wasn't that bad it wasn't that bad it was it was actually quite easy and very freeing because um yeah Oof. so <laughs> i'll say all that to, i say all that to say that breakups fucking suck if you're going through a breakup right now woo 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 i'm i'm sorry for you um i'm sorry that you're going through this pain but you will get on the other side of it you just have to i would suggest that you just reconnect with things that used to bring you joy before that person came into your life um and just or just find a way to just reconnect with you learn something different do something that you've always wanted to do but that you know you're kind of afraid of doing maybe because the person that you just broke up with they kind of like talked you out of it um, or they like said some like little snarky comment that made you just like not want to do it anymore. Um, but just kind of like get out of your comfort zone. Um, breakups really suck, but they what they allow you to do is just learn more about yourself and learn what you don't want. I feel like people are always like, What do you want? What do you want? What do you want? But it's like on the other side of that, when you understand what you don't want. That brings so much clarity. Excuse me. That brings so much clarity to your life. And so use breakups as a way for you to figure out and really clarify what you don't want in your life and what kind of people you don't want to be around. Um, and that can be very freeing because, again, we're always taught to just over consume. But when we start to really pinpoint what is not for us, it brings so much ease and clarity to oneself that we should start, you know, being more aggressive about, you know, I don't want that. Instead of saying, what do I want? Say, what don't I want? And what don't I want is a fuckboy. No, thank you. Like, no. So, um, but yeah. That, I think that's all I wanted to say. But if you all have like a breakup song <laughs> or like a song that you put on repeat when you were going through a breakup, like leave it in the comment section below because I kind of want to listen to it to see what it is. Um, but I'm just also curious as to what got you out of your funk, out of that um, that breakup funk. So, yeah. But... All right, y'all. Thank you all so much for watching my channel and for fucking with your girl. Really appreciate it. Really appreciate it. Um, all right.